So in this presentation, this is the third part of our two-way an analysis of variance with replicates. Uh, the question uh, asked us, the analysis of variance table is such and such, complete the table and use it to assess the evidence, uh, what evidence the experiment provides about the six treatment combinations. So what we're asking is, uh, let's just actually sort of scroll back up for a second. I'm just going to scroll right back up to the top just to sort of get a sense of what this is about. Uh, where am I? So the following data are from a two-factor experiment on sugar beet. So essentially what we're doing is planting sugar beet and we're trying out two different things. The two factors are nitrogen fertilizer. 0 kilograms, 50 kilograms, 100 kilograms sulfate of ammonia per acre and the depth of winter ploughing. So we're trying to figure out does nitrogen have an effect on the quality of the of the um, the yield of sugar which is what we're interested in. Does the depth of ploughing have an effect on the yield of sugar and also is there an interaction effect between the um, the, the amount of fertilizer nitrogen you're using and also the depth is there an interaction effect there so let's scroll back down to it now to what I was where we were it's just a load of stuff I talked about earlier there we go so in the previous uh, presentation this is part three so in part two what we did is we sort of showed how we could complete that table uh, using well, uh, first off, being able to compute uh, sums of squares identities, but also knowing how uh, components in the table interact with one another, okay? Uh, for example, the mean square is the sum of square divided by the degrees of freedom. So what you need to know is, uh, to, to answer that, what we need to know is, like, we need to know to figure out all the degrees of freedom. Uh, we also need to know how to compute the sums of squares. Uh, only one or two cases would have helped there because we could rely on the rest of the information uh, given in the table. It's partially completed, so we can rely on the information of the table to work out the rest. Well, for example, we were given a mean square value for error, okay, 397.9, okay. And But now we're going to look at this last part here, using this for hypothesis testing. Okay, so let's go to our compute, uh, uh, completed table. Okay, so source, degrees of freedom, sums of squares, mean square. Okay, now we have to, we are going to make it, uh, carry out a test on three things. We're going to carry out a test of the significance of nitrogen. Was nitrogen, a, is there a significant main effect for nitrogen? For depth, and for also this interaction effect. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to compute three test statistics and I'm going to call them F. And in each case, F, the test statistic, actually I'll put in little subscript there, TS, just to emphasize it's a test statistic. The uh, In each case, it is the mean square for whatever we're interested in. Okay, so mean square for factor, let's say, in, in, or, uh, a mean square for effect even, or factor or effect, over divided by the mean square for error. Okay, or sorry, I have it here as residual. I'll just, um, error residual, same thing. I'll just write it in now as residual instead. So mean squared for residual. And there are going to be three of them. Okay. So the the test statistic for fact uh, nitrogen, that's the first one. Uh, so this is test, test, test statistic one, nitrogen. Test statistic is going to be the mean square, 279569.625. All over three nine seven point eight seven five. That will work out to be get your calculators out seven hundred and two point seven. There thereabouts. Well, six five six nine. So uh, we'll keep it to one decimal place from now on. Something similar for uh, depth is. 61206 over 397.875 
uh, test statistic there is 153.8 okay and finally the interaction effect that is 1118.65 divided by 397.875 that works out to be 2.8 I'm going to put this in two decimal places just because it's so small 2.81 okay now those are our three test statistics okay so let's put them into our table there just to sort of complete our table so this is our full table here including the test statistic so what did we have 702.6 oh no I put it down I'll tell you 6.5 it was actually I put it down to 702.7 earlier on uh, 153.83 I'll just stick to two decimal places so and 2.81 now there, there will be a test statistic for residuals and also there's no total mean square okay and there's no f statistic for uh, so the these spaces here will always be blank in this table okay now so these are our test statistics okay and what we're going to do is test statistic one we have to find out the uh, degrees of freedom and in each case it's the degree of freedom of the main effect or the uh, interaction effect versus the residuals okay so the, the, it's the F distribution and degrees of freedom there are 2 and 18 or otherwise 1 and 18 okay so <clears throat> 2 and 18 are 1 and 18 essentially these 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 numbers here and then finally this number here will be the second degree of freedom the F distribution has two degrees of freedom so it will be one from the effect or the factor or the effect and one will be the error or the residual term and so it will be 2 and 18 and 1 and 18 now let's go to our tables so I have a little mock-up of our tables now the thing about it is first off uh, degree of freedom is two and eighteen. So the wrong tables there. Hang on a second. I'll just bring up the other one here so I can see it. I have the wrong tables printed up there. There we go. Got the right ones now. So we are first off along the column. We have degree of freedom one. So I don't have there we have just around here degree of freedom one and th so we, we're looking at this column here degree of freedom one and degree of freedom two degree of freedom one equals one degree of freedom two uh, degree of freedom one equals two essentially the first first two columns we're looking at but what we're going to do now is scroll down to row eighteen so the numbers are four point four one there we are zone in. It's getting a bit blurry there, but essentially the first two columns, uh, 4.4139 and 35546. So let's just sort of put up a little facsimile of that. There we go. Uh, so essentially, I'll just scroll back there for a second. This is exactly what we're looking at. Uh, we're picking out both of these values. We are going to use one of them and the other one twice. So it is 4.4139 and 3.5546 and it's row 18 and the first two columns so just sort of point you out there where just where that uh, my mouse is there uh, 4.4139 and 3.5546 and it's row 18 okay so those are our uh, critical values and we have our test statistics so let's go into this now Okay, so we have our test statistic and we have our critical values and all we have to do now is just sort of compare, get their test statistic and critical value and then make our decision. So let's just go through them all now and wrap this up. Uh, no, uh, test statistic for nitrogen was 702.65. The critical value, the it was uh, from the F tables, uh, 2 degrees of freedom and eight degrees, 18 degrees of freedom. Uh, 2 and 18 that was 35546 
Is the test statistic greater than the critical value here? Yes. Test statistic here is 702. Is that greater than 3.55? Yes. That means nitrogen is significant. That means it is... Uh, there is a sort of there's an effect there's a significant effect of adding nitrogen to the or fertilizer to this uh, in this experiment as uh, that it does change the results uh, so that's good so let's move on to the next one depth does depth make a difference is th is there any difference between uh, uh, plowing at 8 centimeters or plowing at 10 centimeters we want to know is depth significant so the test statistic here was 153.83 the critical value was f uh, degrees of freedom were 1 in 18 and from the tables that was 4.4139 is the test statistic greater than the critical value again yes that means that depth is significant So it does have an effect uh, how much, how what depth you put a plow at. And finally, the interaction effect. Test statistic was two point eight one. The critical value was F uh, with degrees of freedom two and eighteen. That was three point five five four six. Is the test statistic greater than the critical value? In this case, no. And what do we conclude there? No significant interaction effect. Oops, uh, no significant interaction effect is what we conclude there. So, uh, depth is significant, nitrogen is significant, uh, the main factors are significant, but the interaction f uh, interaction effect is not uh, significant. So, let's just wrap it up there. That was from the last example. Both nitrogen effect and depth effect are very uh, highly significant. Higher Depth of 12 gives a higher yield than, significantly higher yield than depth of 8. A uh, very significant nitrogen effect, but no uh, uh, evidence of any interaction whatsoever. So, that is that.